So, lunchtime comes, I set up, I get my kits out on my desk, get the camera ready, check the angle, shut the door, put the mic on, sit down, check the shots okay, have I got a cup of tea? No, better make a brew, made a brew. Right, I am ready. Did my big intro, recorded it, about 45 minutes of video. Then I finished work, finished work at, at four today, so put all that away, got my computer out, transferred all of my videos into a folder and then from the folder into iMovie ready to edit, uh, get them all in order. No sound. No sound at all. Where's the sound gone? Oh. So I sit there with my head in my hands for a few minutes. What am I going to do? I contemplated doing a voiceover. It would look like Monkey from the 70s. If you ever watched that programme, Monkey, where nothing was in sync with the lips. Uh, I can't do that. So I've got to record it again. Ah, oh, what a nightmare. Anyway, welcome to Table Talk, take two. Yes, hello, welcome to Table Talk Take Two. I'm going to check this in a minute and make sure the sound's working. Um, but hello and welcome, uh, one and all. It is the first Table Talk of September. I have so much to go through. I'm likely to forget some, so then I'll re record that bit as well. So I can just feel it being a bumpy road. Anyway, uh, we have some new kits to talk about. Um, one of them um, is so large that I can't put it on the desk and I've now put it in the attic since I recorded the original version. So we might do a bit of um, dubbing in there and do a voiceover of that bit because actually you're not really looking at me, you're looking at the kit. Um, it's just saved me a little bit of time. Anyway, if you're one of my new subscribers, a massive welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. You won't be disappointed, I promise. Uh, there's loads of things that we've got on the channel. Um, I chuck out four videos a week um, regularly, but last week you actually got five, you lucky people. Um, that's because uh, when we did the aftermarket, we did um, a second one too, uh, and did the look at uh, research material. So the SDKFZ222, we had a look at the uh, resin and the etch, and then the next day I followed that up with uh, nuts and bolts. Aren't you lucky? But I'm getting ahead of myself, so we usually talk about that a little bit later on. Um, what we do in this video is we talk about what's happened in the week, what's been happening on the modelling bench, uh, we talk about anything I might have added to the stash, um, the ever-growing stash, we're going to talk about that uh, a bit later as well. Um, and then we talk about um, any possible news and what's coming up. And I have all sorts of things to talk about. So uh, if you're um, a long-standing subscriber, uh, welcome back to, the, uh, to Table Talk. Massive thank you for following the channel. Um, it, I do this because I love the interaction I get from you guys. Um, really enjoy doing this now, um, as you can probably tell. Right then, so last Saturday, um, the table talk you were watching had been recorded on the f on the Thursday, actually, and it was my birthday on the Friday, uh, on the Saturday, sorry, get all that correct. Uh, the Friday is always a bit of a, an odd, odd day, the day before my birthday. I like to try and keep myself busy because it's always the anniversary of my mum passing away. Um, so she, she passed away... Um, uh, late at night just before the day of my birthday um so i always I, I i always think about that and it's been over 30 years now she passed away quite young she was only 46 bless her with with, with bowel cancer um so that's always a bit of a funny day but then uh, so i keep myself busy and then on the uh uh saturday it was my birthday so that's why we have some extra kits um, so this is what my kids got me, um, and it's not quite in shot, is it? Let's shuffle that up, which has annoyed me no end. It's the first time ever I've had to talk to Airfix about a kit I've bought. 
and we'll talk about that in a minute as well anyway there we go we've got the world war ii raf bomber resupply set in 172 and a couple of um personnel sets now these are vintage classics from the from the early 70s i've not got my glasses on so it says something that's blurry anyway um that currently on sale or at least one of them is currently on sale uh they or that sale might have ended at the end of august um so uh i think they cost about five or six quid these sets and they're full of figures and you get several of each one um in the main and they're brilliant the 176 but you could get away at 172 people were smaller in those days that's my excuse and we'll stick with it. Uh, they're like toy soldiers, they're, they're that, that sort of soft plastic, but they're great for painting up and then you can just slice them off the bases when they're done. So, um, got those. So that'll probably be one um, first impressions video combining the two. Um, so uh, yeah, nice little, uh, nice little accessories for your 172 aircraft. And then I've got this bomber resupply set. And to be honest, I've looked at it a few times and thought it's probably an old 90s kit in a red box and I don't want to risk it. But it's not. It's uh, 2015 or 2017, something like that. Um, and it's in the old, what we're now saying, the old plastic, the pale blue plastic. But actually, looks really, uh, looks really quite good. Motorbike wheel uh, um, spokes and things look clean and you get all sorts of different vehicles in there you don't get the the aircraft that's on the front you get all of that bombs bomb trolleys tanker trolley uh, and this vehicle here you get the cab and the and the chassis and you decide which one of the back ends you want to put on um, and there's a trolley there and a little tractor and the the little uh, austin truck there austin tilly is it i don't know um so yeah, it's actually probably a nice little set. So that'll be another first impressions. Now, also last week, this arrived, I think on Wednesday, um, and I immediately recorded the first impressions. And if you watch last week's Table Talk, you know the plan had been to put that in last Wednesday if it turned up in time, which it didn't. Uh, and if not, I was gonna swap it into the Bentley, which, which we did, and we'll talk a bit about that in a minute. Um, so I filmed that on on Wednesday night, so you'll see that Wednesday coming. Um, and it's the first time I've ever had to um, ring Airfix and tell them what I think of them. So um, yeah, watch the video. I'm not going to I'm not going to spoil it for you. Um, I don't you know and don't get me wrong there's been lots of reviews I have bought this this was a pre-order kit this hasn't been given to me by Airfix so I'm within my rights to go on the uh, and do a first impressions video and actually say what I think um, and, uh, and I'm not suggesting that other people who've been given it haven't uh, you know because I know Nigel for example Nigel's modeling bench makes it very clear I will give an honest opinion and if it's a load of pants I'm gonna say so and that's quite right um, but I've bought this and in a way that makes what you're going to see in the in the video a bit more annoying. Now, I'm an Airfix fan and I went into that open mind. It's a brand new kit, really excited. Uh, and I've, I'm thinking oh, at the end of it, you'll have to watch the video to find out. So um, channel has been doing quite well. There's another kit that we added. Um, and that is the Salil Royale, the Royal Sun. It's a Heller 1100 kit from the 70s. The door's opening. Let me just pause the camera. So let's talk about that for a minute. Um, I'm going to run the clip that I recorded earlier today and do a voiceover. Um, so here we go. Big, isn't it? <laughs> well, uh, that's why it wouldn't go on the desk. So... This is 1 to 100 scale, comes with all the things that you need to build the kit. Um, I'm going to leave it to the first impressions, there's one or two weird things about it. Um, but it's really nicely presented, comes in a tan sort of plastic, really nice um, manual with it. But um, three quarters, two thirds of the manual is 
just focused on the rigging. So it supplies all the rigging blocks in plastic, you've got to paint them. Obviously you could swap them out with wooden ones which should be quicker actually. Um, and there's one or two other bits and pieces that you're going to have to do. Uh, it's got uh, vac form sails that you might want to replace or omit. Um, the flag, well, uh, anyway, I'll leave it to the first impressions. But this was fully funded by you guys supporting the channel. So the donations and various other means of bringing money into the channel is what's bought this. Uh, now, I got it for £205. Interestingly, I bought it from Creative Models, who are the importer. They don't have any on stock on their website, their website shop. But they're selling them through eBay. But at £205, um, that's still a, uh, an absolute steal because the, uh, they're retailing for as much as £178 uh, most other places. So uh, it's good value, but it's going to be a difficult build. It's a proper model builder's build because, uh, you know, it's mid 70s. I've wanted it for 40 years. <laughs> it's been around longer than that. And yeah, it's. It needs a lot of work, there's gap filling and putting it together. There's also quite a bit of stuff missing off it from friendships of the period, so there's additional scratch building to do. And the stern galleries, or uh, at, at the side there, that are depicted on the um, box as being open, actually aren't open in the plastic parts. So you're going to have to cut them open um, and rework what's going on behind it. So it's not for the faint-hearted, it's not a clean it up, glue it together job, it needs some proper work to get a decent model out of it. But if you put the effort in, you're going to end up with something that's absolutely sublime. It's going to be a stunning showpiece. Anyway, I'm really happy that after 40 years, I've finally got this. And at some point, we're going to build it because I'm quite excited to build it. I'm not sure when. It's a big project. So, you know, when we've finished the Scharnhorst, a big project, we'll probably do something a lot smaller in the way of ships after that. So that has come from you guys, and it's a massive thank you from me for that. Um, and let's just very briefly talk about how you can support the channel. I don't do membership. I don't do Patreon. Um, and I don't, uh, I don't do buy me a coffee. I don't do anything where you regularly have to subscribe. But I am very grateful to those of you who take up the other options. So um, you, sub you support the channel by watching the videos and doing the likes and maybe sharing with your, with your mates who are interested in modeling on f Facebook or other forums, making people aware of videos and, and, um, and so on. That, that all helps the channel grow. Um, but you can financially support the channel um, because the channel is self-funded and everything that you see on the channel uh, is now paid for by the revenue from the channel. And I get revenue from three different sources. The, the main source at the moment is advertising and that's the adverts that run in the videos and at the moment I've got um, every time you watch a video that gives me a very small contribution and I'll give you an, an idea of how small a contribution so a video that I recorded a year ago that's had 1600 views in its lifetime of a year is earned six pounds 41 pence so you get a tiny tiny amount from the um, advertising um, that is shown at the start and end um, and possibly in the middle of the video depending on how long the video is. Now if you want to avoid those videos by the way um, on my build video on a Friday if you watch it as it premieres you don't get any adverts um, but when you watch these videos with the adverts that is the source of revenue that I get. I also, uh, you can hit super thanks under every video. So if you've watched a video and enjoyed it or it was informative or whatever, you can hit super thanks and you can donate to the channel um, that way. Um, on a Friday when you're in a premiere, there's, um, there's a, a function within the live chat so that you can do um, a, a donation through the chat function. Um, and I also have a... Uh, a merch shop so underneath every video there's a little ribbon uh, and that shows 
t-shirts, mugs and things like that. If you click on that, you can go to the whole shop and see the much more expanded range. So uh, you can get a t-shirt like this bad boy here. This is the uh, Table Talk logo. So if you order one uncustomized, this is what you get. This is the size of it, the good quality. Um, you can choose the colors. This one's, um, sorry, I just hit the microphone. This one's a green one, but there's lots of different colors in there. I've got hoodies, I've got a uh, female coat, um, I've got um, t-shirts and bits and pieces. I've got two designs. I've got the model kit stuff logo only. Um, and you can go in and hit the customize button and change it. You can shrink this down and move its location, uh, but you have to have it on there somewhere. Um, there's also cups, the sort of traditional cup, uh, and also a more modeling friendly cup, which is like a camper's cup. It's an enamel metal cup. So if you drop that on the floor, it ain't smashing uh, and you can go and make another brew in it. Um, and I've also got aprons, which I mean, I wear an apron um, all the time when I'm when I'm modeling, particularly when I'm doing painting or I'm doing a lot of sanding and stuff like that. Just keeps it all off your clothes. Um, so I've got some aprons in there. Again, you can change the colors and, and use either of the logos on them. Um, we might do some special editions from time to time. I'm planning on maybe doing a goater t-shirt when the goater's done or something like that. Don't know. Um, so there'll, there'll be bits and pieces, but that's all stuff that you can do to support the channel. All the funds doesn't go into my pocket. It goes into the channel for buying new products, and new kits that we can review. So the Soul Royale was was um, completely funded by the channel, by the donations, and a massive thank you to everyone who's donated so far. Now, two people have donated um, in the uh, week just gone. I can remember who they were. So it was Plastic Monkey, thank you very much, Paul. Um, always greatly appreciated. Um, and. Uh, Paul chooses to uh, donate relatively regularly a small amount, which is an, uh, a nice way of uh, managing it. Um, and um, if you've not watched his channel, Model Monkey, you should go and catch it. He chucks out a lot more kits than I do. Um, and, he, and he seems to be a bit of a Ravel fan. He does quite a few Ravel kits uh, as well, which is not something you'll see much of on, on my channel. So. Um, yeah, it's a nice little channel. You should check him out. And the other one was military modeler Paul. Thank you, Paul. Massively appreciated for your, your contribution. Now, if you've not seen military modeler Paul's channel, um, you should absolutely go over there. He's been building, I think it's the Rodney. He's done an absolutely beautiful job. One 200 scale uh, museum finish. Um, he's done detail upsets and done a pristine job. Um, it really is nice. And he's just moving on to HMS Speedy, which is a, uh, he's done a review, he's starting to build it. I'll be doing a review of it soon because that, that's one that I'm gonna buy. Now, a few weeks ago, I mentioned Vanguard Models. Um, he's purchased it from there. I'm not sure if Paul was aware of them before or not, um, but shortly after that video, he made me aware that he, he'd purchased it. Um, so, it's a lovely kit. Vanguard models are, are top, top notch kits. The designer is very well known. The owner of the company is a designer for lots of other brands, including uh, a, a Matty and the Victor, uh, Victory Ship range, which is top notch, uh, which is HMS Fly is one of that range. So um, yeah, please check out both of those channels uh, and a big thank you for your contribution to my channel um, in the last week. Now, if you make a contribution to the channel through um, Super Thanks or Super Chat, um, I will see it and I will give you a personal shout out in the Table Talk video. If you buy something from the merchandise store, I don't know who you are. I know that there's been a sale. I get an email that tells me there's been a sale. Um, and I know that people have been buying, but I don't know who you are. Um, what I can say is the quality is really nice. This t-shirt is really good. If you buy um, the sticker and there's one, you might just be able to see it there. If, I'm, uh, if I move that out of the way, there you go. So that gives you a rough idea of the size. Um, and they're good quality. The vinyl stickers, plastic vinyl. Um, so it's not paper and cheaper or, or anything like that. It's a, it's a good quality sticker. There is a returns policy. Um, so you've got a few days to return if there's something not right. Um, and I think the t-shirts look great. This is the table talk design. I'm happy with this. I might have to get myself um, a model kit design one as well. So I've got two for the channel. 
um, and I'll be much easier to spot Telford this year, won't I? Right, so that's how you can support the channel. Um, it's all greatly appreciated. I don't know what I want to do next. So with the funds that comes from you guys, any donations and the like, I want that to be something that you guys can get behind. So if you've got an idea what you think you'd like to see me review on here, whether it's a rare kit that's really expensive and you've always wondered what it's like, or there's an upcoming kit you think you'd really like to get reviewed, let me know. Uh, if several people are saying the same thing, then I'll do my best to, to find it once we've generated enough funds. Um, uh, otherwise, if there's lots of selections, I'll note them all down and, and we'll pick pick some off from time to time. Uh, and what you'd like to see, we can put on the channel. Because there are some kits that I've bought and I now want to sell because realistically, I'm not going to get around to buying them. Um, so, for example, I had a couple of... Uh, 148 scale Spitfire kits, really quite nice ones. And now I've got the 124 scale one from Airfix. I'm feeling like I probably don't want to build the 148 ones and I'll just build the 124 scale. So I'm going to do a, um, a, a sale and get rid of some of the stuff from a stash and all the money that we generate will go into here. Now you guys that watch Table Talk will get first refusal. I started to try and do this before and it, it wasn't going particularly well so I, so I knocked it on the head. But you know that we helped Nigel, um, sorry, Neil sell some of his kits a little while ago. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take some photographs of them all and... Um, uh, you can make me offers and it'll be a case of best offer wins um, or, and and we'll see how we get on. Um, rather than putting them on eBay, I'd like to give my subscribers first dibs and know they're going to a good home that way. So uh, it'll be a case of bid for it and pay postage. And once you've paid and the money's in my bank, I'll send you the kit. Um, so there's some things in there that'll be old kits. There are some things in there that are going to be relatively new kits that I've bought, I've reviewed uh, and now don't want to keep. So one of them, for example, will be the Border Models 132 Lancaster Nose. Not going to keep that. Um, I've been put off by the glass. Uh, the rest of it's a nice kit, but uh, why? Um, so I'll keep the resin figure and we'll do that as a standalone. But I think, I, I think I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'll probably get rid of it. Um, and that's what we can do in the future. We can buy a nice kit, um, get, get a new kit, review it, so on and so forth. And if it's not something I'm interested in building, um, we can sell it on again and put the funds back into the channel and I'll offer it to you guys first. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, I, I've got to sort through the stash, take the photographs and, and put them to one side so I can send them out. So uh, we'll do something with that. You'll see that pop up in two, three weeks, maybe. I'm going to try and do it this Sunday, but we'll see. So that's what's happening with the stash and with, with new kits and, and bits and pieces. It's a hard thing. Going through your stash and going, oh, get rid of that, get rid of that. It's like, it's like sitting with your kids and saying, right, we've got to get rid of some toys before Father Christmas comes. Suddenly, the stuff they've not played with for a year, they want. So, so it's going to be a bit like that. I'm not going to want to part company with any of them, really. So I'm going to have to be ruthless with myself uh, and try and be honest with myself. That you know, there's only so much uh, air left in the lungs. So we've got to be realistic. So anyway, that's the stash and that's the kit. Uh, what's coming up in the week ahead? So uh, next week on Monday, uh, we've got um, a modeling basics video uh, to do with masking. And I think a lot of people focus on modeling products and when well, there's such a huge range of modeling products. And if you're fairly new to the hobby or you've come back to the hobby, you go to a modeling shop and you see all this stuff and you think, oh, I need to get all this. And there is some things you can do with much cheaper household products, stuff that you can buy in a supermarket. Um, so um, there's all sorts of stuff that you can use and in this video we talk about some of those um, and it's a way of doing quick masking of large areas using non-modeling products. Um, some of you might have come across me using some of these before in some of my build videos um, but um, I like to do the standalone videos because um, there are people that search for how do you do masking 
um, and then we'll see all these videos on masking. So um, I have to do some standalone stuff as well as stuff in the build videos. So anyway, um, we've got that. On the Wednesday, it will be the Sea King. Now, uh, when I finished videoing the review of it, it was two hours long. So even with a little bit of editing, it's still going to be more than one video. So it'll be part one on the Wednesday, part two on the Thursday. And like I say, you want to watch it because I wasn't a particularly happy bunny. Um, and I love Airfix, but I wasn't a happy bunny. Um, right, so um, that's Wednesday. Then on the Friday, the build video will be go to 13. Um, so this week just gone, um, yesterday, which is tonight, you'll be watching the Queen Mary 27, um, which will be a nice video. And I ho hope I saw and caught up with some of you uh, last night. Um, and then um, and we had the Bentley on Wednesday, which was a lovely video. And you guys, you'll be naughty because I did a little poll and I asked you, what is it that you're principally interested in? So I get most modelers will build a, a bit of everything, but they have a key um, sort of interest that they come back to. So I asked if it was ships, aircraft, um, vehicles, vintage kits or dioramas. And 5% of you said, yeah, I primarily like to build vintage kits. So memory lane sort of stuff. Put a Bentley out, which is a vintage classic, 112 Bentley uh, model kit out. The kit's been around since the mid 70s. Everyone's seen it. Everyone's aware of it. it does a thousand hits in the first 24 hours. So 5% of you are interested in it, but a thousand people watch the video as soon as it comes out. Don't get it. Um, makes no sense. But anyway, uh, lots of love for that. Lots of people saying, actually, I've always thought about getting this kit, but because of its age, I, I back off a little bit. Well, um, I, you know, I, I bit the bullet and now you can see it's not that bad. A few people saying they'd built it. Some people, a number of people saying they built it a long time ago. Now, interestingly, someone said when I built it, it came with a motor. And thought, interesting, because in the review, there was a little movable part, a little gear. And I thought, how interesting. Anyway. On eBay, someone is selling a 112 scale Airfix Bentley motor. Um, so, very interesting. Um, I haven't got anything in my instructions to say install the motor. So, um, where it would go, I don't know. I'm, the, the wires on it didn't look that long because I'm thinking, well, you'd have to shove it in the fuel tank or something, wouldn't you? And, don't know. I'm not going to buy the motor, but uh, it was just interesting that I spotted that the same day as I got that comment. But lots of love for the Bentley. Uh, and yeah, it's, a, it's quite a cool kit, isn't it? Um, and I think you could build it out of the box and it'd look impressive. And you could build it and do some scratch building and updating it and it could look awesome. So a nice little kit won't be one that I'll be getting rid of from, from the stash. Um, so we, we had that and um, on Monday we did the SDK of Z222 resin etch aftermarket and then I did an extra video on the Tuesday which was the, um, uh, oh, what do you call it, um, nuts and bolts, there you go, I've got one over there you see, different one. Um, so we did the nuts and bolts review. So quite quite a thin one. What I tend to do is buy them when I've got a project and then flog them afterwards. I don't tend to build a library up of them. So I've only got two at the moment. Um, the one that I, I've shown and one for the FAMO because I've got the FAMO tank transporter in, in my stash, which I've done a first impressions of if you're interested in, in seeing what you get in that kit. Um, so yeah, that's that's what was last week. That was what's coming up. Tell you what we've not done for a few weeks. We've not had a look in the garden. Let's have a let's have a gander. Well, it's been a few weeks since we had a look at the garden, but um, we've had quite a few tomatoes. This is the sort of the the last of the big bunch, and we've got it looks like two, but actually it's one Jerry tomato. Oh, actually there's another one there which I hadn't spotted. Oh, two. There you go. We're uh, quids in. 
Now you might remember that uh, we had a few plants left over so we just dumped them in here uh, and we've got quite a haul of tomatoes on there uh, and it's a race to get them before the um, uh, various other things, snails and the like, have a go at them. But uh, yeah, we are managing that. Uh, rhubarb has gone mental um, and we're ready for taking some more out and I think that's the job for the weekend, uh, to eat more rhubarb, which is good. This has started flowering now, so if I just... You, bet, you can see the little purpley blue flowers. Um, should get a lot more of those coming. You can see lots of flower heads starting. So that's very nice. And then the as we get into autumn, we'll get this lovely colour change, which complements the red barren that's been absolutely swamped this year. Plum pudding is flowering and looking good. Uh, this thing's gone mental, gonna have to cut that back hard. We're a few weeks off starting the autumn tidy up yet. Um, roses have gone over. Now, lanterns, you remember we talked about the lanterns and how they go beautiful orange? There we go. And you can probably just see the, the fruit in one of them. That one, you might just see there's a little round fruit in there, I don't know. Um, ah, there, there you can see. I knew there was one of them. So yeah, they look stunning. Now usually we have loads of these, um, but they've been a bit stunted at this end and, and have struggled at that end. But as they go orange, they'll become more obvious. So yeah, now this we found in the car park. Someone had chucked it away. Um, so we planted it in and it's looking gorgeous. It's not flowered, but I think next year it's got every chance. I'm loving the leaves. So we've got fruit now. Uh, this is the, the what grows up the, um, uh, the jasmine that grows up our oak tree. Zebra grass is looking lovely. Flowers have gone over on the first hosta here. Oh, looks like we've got nettles. They've suddenly sprung up. Didn't see them last weekend. Uh, and the honeysuckle's okay. And then, look at this. This has suddenly burst into life. Absolutely stunning. Um, we've, I have given this a bit of a chop back. And that's allowed more light into the hosta. So this one's flowering. It's a race against time with the... Uh, well, it's been eaten alive at the moment. Um, bamboo's done well this year. Black grass has stopped flowering and we've got lots of lovely shiny growth on the ferns so it's all looking ready for tidy up really. I'm trying to keep me washing out of your view. Now because I've been on holiday um, I got a bit behind with, with videos and I, I follow so many channels that um, I, I don't, it's probably the same for, for many of you. You, I, I have some channels that I follow every video and other channels that I dip in and out of depending on the subject. Um, and uh, you know, um, I, I've been catching up with some of those since that, that holiday. So if you put a video out and I quite often comment and haven't done for a while, that's why I'm just I'm just catching up. But like Nigel's modeling bench, I know he's been building this. I'm really keen to watch it, but I didn't want to watch it until I'd done my own video. I have now, so I'm gonna catch up with that this weekend. That'll be running in the background when I'm working on Queen Mary 2. So this weekend is Queen Mary 2 uh, weekend. I need to get some uh, material out there. Um, quite a tricky bit is the next bit because I've got the uh, promenade deck railings to do. And I've got to, uh, I've got to scratch build boxes, and I've got to paint life rings, and paint the railings, and bend the railings, and then install the railings, and then when all of that's done, we can move back upstairs to the top deck, and do some more of that. And I've got a load of glazing to do. <sighs> Not looking forward to that. There's a big load of glazing at the front. I mean, the ship must be fifty percent glass. There's that much glazing on it, but um, yeah. Um, she's starting to look good. In fact, 
here's a picture of where I'm up to with her so far. So, uh, yeah, she looks better than the real thing, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, no rust or algae or anything like that. Anyway, um, so Queen Mary 2 is progressing nicely. Goat is nearly done. We know what's coming up in the pipeline. So um, what's happening in other news? Well, finally, I managed to get to the Commercial Vehicle Museum in Leyland, which is about a 12 minute walk from my house two minute drive from my house. So we went and did it, um, we did it the weekend of my birthday. Took my granddaughter actually, she loved it. She absolutely loved it. Um, so I've done a model kit stuff, goes to the Commercial Vehicle Museum. Um, Alice came with me and she was technical support. She did a bit of uh, videoing, some of the photographs, um, filmed uh, the parts where I'm talking to the camera. There's a, there's a few of those. Um, but with the exception of one vehicle, everything in there is in fully restored working order. It's absolutely awesome. And there's some pretty awesome, there's trucks in there, uh, traction in there, um, a few buses, some beautiful buses, uh, a Pope mobile from his vi visit in 1982. So I've got all that material. I've just got to edit it together. I don't know whether it'll be out next week or the week after. Uh, I, I need to find a slot to edit it. Um, it's going to be quite a quite a big video, but um, a number of the vehicles there you can actually get on. Um, there was none you could really get in the cab, but some of the buses and uh, there was an ambulance and things like that where you could get in the back and and this may went in in the back of all of them. Um, and there were some little things for the kids, how things work and engines and that sort of stuff. Um, there's a, a Hornby railway with a tram on it, uh, so. All sorts of um, little bits and pieces um, that it was just really, really interesting. It's a, it's a good afternoon. So if you live in the area, if you live in the northwest and you've never been, and he's, someone said to me, I live in Chorley, so that's just round the corner from me, and I've never been either. You, you need to get and go on. It's really impressive. They reopened it about 18 months ago um, after refurbishing it. And yeah, it's actually a good afternoon out. It's not expensive to get in. Um, it's run by volunteers. Um, uh, yeah, really nice afternoon out. So that video is going to come along at some point. I'm sure many of you will be interested in there. There's some vehicles in there that I haven't seen for a while. There, there was a bus. I remember going, I used to live in, uh, in Point in, in Cheshire, just between Macclesfield and Stockport. And I can remember getting the 192 to, uh, from Point in to Stockport and, and back many, many times. And they've got the bus that, that I used to travel on, or the same type, uh, the Leyland bus in there. Beautiful. Um, so loads of memories, loads of memories in, in that museum. Um, so, yeah, good fun. Um, other news is um, we may, and it's more certain than not certain in, in my eyes, um, a fellow uh, YouTuber has approached me and said would be interested in doing a buddy build. Um, and it wasn't any old buddy build, it was a buddy build on a particular thing that he knows that I've got in the pipeline. Uh, we've both got the same kit, uh, we've both got the same aftermarket, we've both got similar views as to what we want to do with it. Um, so uh, we've had a bit of a chat about it this week on, on email and, and I'm really quite excited about it. Um, so. Uh, we'll probably chuck some live streams in and do some parallel building and talk about how we're tackling things. And I think it'd be a huge, it's, it'd be a huge project, actually. Um, and one or two of you might be trying to work out what that is. Um, but I don't want to announce it because what we'll do is we'll do a formal live streaming announcement. But um, later this year, when I've cleared some of the things on the deck, I think we're going to uh, start chucking that out. So I'm really excited because um, he's one of the one of the channels I was following before I had a channel uh, uh, and has been uh, a long time uh, modeling inspiration uh, for me. So uh, very flattered that uh, that he approached me and said, would you like to do this? Uh, and I think it's a great idea because it's actually going to help us keep our mojo and keep going because um, both of us, uh, suffer from the same problem of when you're in a big project you go 
oh, have I got to do that? I'm a bit bit fed up of that. Uh, and I, as you know, I do occasionally break things up and I do something one week and then something the next week. And that, that helps tremendously. But like when the Airfix Ferret comes along, I'm going to stop everything and just build that for a couple of weeks and get it out of the way. Um, so it will be a great way of keeping the project going. Um, and it's probably going to help build build the channel a little bit and um, I'm really looking forward to working with him. So um, at this moment in time, I'm saying May because, you know, uh, we, we need to firm things up and, and agree things formally. And we, my ducks have got to be aligned at the same time. His ducks have got to be aligned and all of that sort of stuff. Um, but I'd like to think it's much more likely than not that that's what we're going to do. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and when I can tell you more, I will do. Uh, and the way to find out what's going on is to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that if I do a separate video on it, you don't miss it. And keep your eye on the Table Talk videos where we talk about what's coming up. So I think that might cover everything this week. Let's see. Uh, I've done thanks, yeah. I've done model kits, yeah. I've done what we did last week. I've done what we did next week. I've done news. I've done the garden. Yes, we're done. Whew. Second time round. So thank you very much for looking in. Uh, you enjoy your modelling this week. Um, please consider um, supporting the channel. And if you've got any ideas of what you'd like to see me reviewing on, on the decks, you know my first impressions videos are really in depth. I, I like to do them that way. Um, I, I like to do videos in the way I'd like to watch a video. Yeah. So hopefully um, you can come up with some thoughts for me um, and we'll, we'll collect them together. And if you donate to the channel, I'll mention you in next week's Table Talk. So a big thank you very much. You enjoy your modelling. Take care and I will see you very soon. Bye for now. Gonna have to get another logo on this t-shirt. I need to.